Hello everyone! Today we explain how to use the new version of Audio Input FX 2.0, which can apply real-time effects in live streaming. Click Setting button, Settings, Dialog box will pop up. Select the audio device and input, and Input Monitor fields. You can check Exclusive mode to avoid latency problems of sound. Select buffer size depending on specs of your computer. For using VST2 effects plugins other than pre-installed effects, click Add button and specify the folder location where VST2 effects plugins have been installed. Click VST setting button and check VST plugins you will use in this application. Voice Changer is a very effective and will use much CPU processing power so use it sparingly. When you don't want to use a mouse in live streaming, you can use keyboard shortcuts. Click Shortcut Settings button. You can assign the commands to the shortcut key in the suite. We will now explain how to set up OBS Studio. That is usually used in live streaming with audio input and FX. Add audio input capture from source. Click the OK button. Select Internet, Virtual Audio Device in Device Fields. Next, click Properties in Audio Mixer. Select Internet, Virtual Audio Device in Device Fields in the same way. OBS Studio is finally ready to be used with Audio Input FX. For monitoring the FX sound, click Input Monitor button to turn on when it is lighted. It represents that it is on. You can adjust the localization of the sound by using the pan knob. You can adjust the level of the input by using the volume fader. Click FX pad to turn on. It is on when indicated lighted up when using the effects. Click E button, the button right corner of the FX pad, and you can display the effects panel. Now let's adjust EQ to obtain comfortable voice sounds. Audio input FX. Audio input FX. You can edit the sound graphically for each frequency band. Audio input FX. When using compressor, you can compress the different sound levels and make it even. Click the comp button to turn on, when lighted, Adjust Threshold knob, Scene VU Meter Move. Audio Input FX. Now I speak with several different levels for you to understand the different effects. Audio Input FX. Audio Input FX. Background noise like this can be eliminated by using Gate. Click Gate. To turn on, it is on when it is highlighted. Adjust gate open knob, hearing the actual sounds. Let's try adjusting delay to add an echo effect. Click delay pad to turn on. It is on when it is lighted. Audio, Audio input, input effects. effects. Let's try to change a male voice to a female voice using the voice changer. Now use effects chain as a preset of effects. Click effects chain, V channel, pad to turn on, lighted when it is on. Hello everyone. From this preset, try to approach your sound image by adjusting pitch shift and format shift faders. Hello everyone. We introduced the method that you can use effects in a singing video. You can post to video sharing sites like YouTube. At first, using EQ and compressor, adjust tone quality and compress the different sound levels. Next, using reverb, add an echo effect. This effect is usually used in karaoke. Sha la la la. Adjust balance knob. You can change the balance between the source and the reverberation. Sha-la-la-la. 
Next, to add depth to your track, add a chorus. This will increase the depth of your track. Adjust the wet level knob. You can adjust the balance between dry and wet sounds. Sha la la la. In this way, you can make your voice sound more rich. You can save the settings of all the effects you set as a preset in the effects chain. By saving this as a preset, you can load your favorite settings easily. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end.